where did this idea of democracy come from? <laughs> We're going to bring some slides up in a minute because your argument is that it was based on the riches that Athens was reaping from the silver mines of Laurium. Um, now, while, while I get that first slide up uh, and negotiate my share screen facility, Harry, could yeah. you just do the etymology of democracy for us? You know, that, that, those two words, that, the, that, that sort of new coinage of, of, of Greek. Yes, yeah, yeah, and, and it's very <laughs> powerful at the moment with, and I'm so sorry for Julia, for your family and your friends, but at the time, well, you have a tyrant uh, attacking a democracy in uh, the shape of Vladimir Putin in Ukraine. Um, it is a remarkable thing what happened in uh, what is the late 6th century BC, in 508 BC, Cleisthenes, who's from this family who are a bit like our oh, Windsors or perhaps the American uh, Kennedys, the Altmanids, um, in 508 BC, first comes up with the principles of democracy. Mm. Um, but at the same time, uh, lots of things are happening. It's such a miracle, it's hard to say this is definitely why, but one of the things is, as you say, in those, that slide you just showed is a, looks like a 19th century slide of Laurium, which is just outside Athens. Uh, and in 483 BC, so a little later than Cleisthenes gets the first democratic reforms going, um, they found silver, uh, huge amounts of silver, very shallowly buried, in uh, Laurium or Laurium as it called in ancient Greece. And you can still see amazingly the ancient Greek uh, pits where they dug out only about sort of 10 foot underground, dug out the silver. And so it became incredibly rich Athens in, a, in 483 BC, they discovered the silver. And then at roughly the same time, uh, 490 BC, there's the great battle of Marathon where the Athenians uh, beat the Persians. And this is an incredibly Im important moment in the rise of ancient Greece when Harold Macmillan was asked when he was prime minister in the early 60s, what effect the Second World War had had on his premiership. He said, well, quite a lot of a, quite a big effect, but not nearly as big as the Battle of Marathon. Show off <laughs> answer, but he, he, he got a double first in classics. And when he was sheltering from German shells in the First World War, he was reading the Iliad and the Odyssey, but it is, if you like, one of the big sparking moments when Athens begins to rise, followed by 10 years later, the Battle of Salamis, they beat the Persians again in a sea battle. So all these things are happening at the same time. Cleisthenes 508 BC, Marathon 490, Salamis 480. They find the uh, silver in Laurium in uh, 483. They also move the port uh, of Athens from somewhere called... Um, uh, Phaleron down to where the port is today, a much, much um, uh, better and bigger port. So all these things were happening at the same time. And it's no surprise, I think, that you then get this extraordinary boom in all those things we've been talking about, the philosophy, tragedy, comedy, all the rest of it. But I think the big spark of it all is democracy, um, because no longer are you having people giving all their money to a king or being terrified of a king. Um, they are, uh, they've come up with this extraordinary system of democracy, which is a long way of answering your question. Democracy comes from demos, meaning people, and kratos, meaning strength. So the strength of the people. The strength of the people. But, but so what you're saying is really that, um, uh, you know, we see ancient Athens as this extremely sophisticated place, lots of culture, plays, art, architecture, um, advances in politics, and also, of course, the invention of philosophy, as Mark will tell us. Uh, but that was actually based on money and war. You know, it was based on economic success because of silver mines um, and uh, military success against the Persians, which, which gave a sort of confident foundation for these things to be built on, to, on from. Yes, and, and, and also enough free time to, you know, if you're... Um... Uh, if you're worried that you're about to be hit over the head either by your king or by a Persian, you don't have the time to go off and write a play um, or, or build a lovely temple like the Parthenon. 